Hello everyone at St Bede School. I'm Chris McDonald and I'm from Blackhall, where I went to school. And many of my friends from Blackhall also attended St Bede's. Um, but now I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Materials Processing Institute, where I get to work on developing new technologies to reduce climate change for steel furnaces, just like the one that you can see behind me. I'm a chartered chemical engineer. Uh, I studied at Cambridge University and now I run a business. But when I was your age, I didn't know anyone who'd been to university, never mind Cambridge, um, and I'd never even heard of chemical engineering. My mum worked in a care home in Blackhall, um, and though my dad was a really hard worker, we went through periods of time where he was mostly unemployed with a bit of time as a taxi driver. Now, I was really happy at home. I played in the brass band at Horden, um, and the Durham Miners Gala every year was and still is a massive highlight for us but we were pretty poor. Now, I remember when I was 15, uh, one of my teachers at Wellfield Comprehensive School dropped a leaflet on my desk uh, about chemical engineering, and he said that I should take a look at it. And for me, that was a life-changing moment. This, was, this is also a bit of advice that, that I give you. Finding a job that you enjoy, a job that makes you feel like you're doing something of value, is a really great thing to do. I think that work, is really important. It gives me a sense of accomplishment, stability and self-worth that goes beyond just earning money. And look at who all the really important workers are, the ones that we rely on. It's not just engineers like me or scientists or doctors, but care workers, lorry drivers, shop workers and cleaners. So whatever you do, do it with all of your heart. The second lesson that I learned was about the importance of education you only really get one chance to get a good education. And this is your chance now. It's the key to your future. And the education that you get really will make a big difference to your life. Look, it's, it's never too late to learn. And actually, since leaving school, I've done a lot of training and education courses, but they've all benefited from the hard work I did when I was your age. And, and I did as much as I could when I was at school, and I would really encourage you to do the same. You've, you've all got the potential for a great future ahead of you, but in the end, it's up to you to decide now whether you want to invest your time and effort in achieving it. After leaving school, I did a year placement in the steel industry before studying at university, and then I came back to work in the steel industry later, working on innovation and technology, which I've done now for about 20 years. About six years ago, I set up the Materials Processing Institute, the business that I now run. And running your own business isn't for everyone. It wasn't something I thought that I would do. But setting one up isn't actually as difficult as you might think. There are lots of small businesses out there. And if you've got a good business idea, then I would definitely encourage you to put it into practice. Now, I know many of you are studying geography and you might find it strange that I'm an engineer but I'm also a fellow of the Royal Geographical Society. And that's because a lot of my work is about trying to prevent climate change by inventing new ways to make steel and use steel. And climate change is a big area for geographers, looking at both the impact of climate change on different places around the world and what we can do to prevent it. During my career, I've traveled in a lot of places around the world, in Europe, in China, in Japan, in India, I've met multi-billionaire business leaders. I've had meetings in number 10 Downing Street and at Buckingham Palace. I've had arguments with government ministers. I've been grilled by parliamentary committees. But one thing I found is that none of these people are any better or any more special than you are. Mostly, they've just got a lot more confidence. So my final message is work hard to achieve your potential because you'll find you're as good as anybody else. And if you come from County Durham, better than most. Bye for now.